Newly released documents from whistleblower Edward Snowden have shed light on US spying operations from a base in the UK. The leaks also include details of how the surveillance gathered there contributed to American targeted killings in the Middle East and North Africa. For more on the story, let's cross live to RT's correspondent Harry Fear. Welcome, Harry. Now, the work of Men With Hill has been shrouded in secrecy for years. So what have we learnt following these Snowden leaks? Well, very interesting revelations today about the use of this uh, rather special, it seems, uh, American overseas military installation in the Yorkshire Hills here in England, protected 24 hours a day by British military police. And uh, the names, code names of the operations we now know run out of that facility, Ghost Hunter, Ghost Wolf, my favourite, Moon Penny. And they were spying on millions of cell phone calls internationally, among other forms of communication. And that information was then used to influence the outcomes of capture kill operations to eliminate terrorist cells in Afghanistan and Iraq, but also in nations where the US is not officially at war, such as in Yemen, where, of course, there is a very bloody record of civilian casualties as a result of the controversial drone assassination program there. Now, this raises questions then about how much the UK knew about how this base was being used and questions arising of potential complicity of UK officials uh, over how information gathered there then influenced the outcomes of potentially internationally illegal drone assassinations uh, in other states. Uh, now, uh, GCHQ, the UK's uh, equivalent of the NSA, isn't elaborating on the specific specifics uh, of what's going on. But speaking about its own operations, it said uh, that they continue in a legal and policy framework and are in accordance uh, with the European Convention on Human Rights. And for its part, the uh, director of National Intelligence's office, uh, it has said to The Intercept, holding this exclusive story today, uh, that all intelligence service men and women are operating in a strict legal framework where there are laws, policies and guidelines to protect the US and other nations uh, overseas. But human rights lawyers today and NGOs are red-faced over the revelations. They've long been calling for clarity over what exactly is happening in Inside those strange shaped buildings protected by British military police. And they are now very, as I say, angry over the revelations and the potential implications for them. And in the words of one human rights advocacy uh, organization based out of London speaking to The Intercept, uh, this appears to be another example of the unacceptable level of secrecy that surrounds UK involvement in the US's targeted killing program. Now, it's just last summer that President Obama disclosed how many civilian casualties or the official uh, number uh, had taken place since around 2009. And he said in Yemen and Pakistan and Africa, so outside of the official war zones, that something like upwards of 60 civilians, perhaps as many as 120, had been killed. Now, that number may sound somewhat low, and that is what all of the official uh, bodies, excuse me, the unofficial bodies, all the reputed uh, NGOs around the world reacted to that official statistic, saying the number could be instead in the several hundreds, but certainly far higher than that official figure. So certainly questions now then for the UK authorities here over just how upfront they've been and questions of complicity perhaps on the part of British officials.